You guys ready to get your jump ropes? <clears throat> you don't have a jump rope, you can do jumping jacks, any exercises to get warm, bounce on your toes. And let's go, let's get started. Get the body moving in a couple days. No training. You feel it. So my head one shot here. How close can I go? Check and range. Right there. Alright. And again, one foot, other foot, heel toe. Good. Alright, let's bring one knee up. Left knee ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Here we go. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So it's going to get easier to jump the rope every time. Always have to add new tricks. Challenge. Let's go forward. Move backwards. Good, let's do a circle. All the way around. Keep moving. Nice. Crisscross. You have to work on that one on the weekends. You do your homework. Crisscross. Yes. Side to side. And back in. When you're ready. One minute, 15 seconds. Heel toe. Left knee. Right knee. Regular. Okay, last minute freestyle. Work on all the stuff that you're doing.
So again, that new, new trick on ropes, left knee, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, regular. That's your homework, work on that one. Give a shout out to Joseph. Joseph training at home. Heard he's working hard. Let's keep that up, buddy. Good to hear. Hopefully soon we'll be back in Goslins. Training hard here, everybody. I miss everybody. I miss all my students. From the youngest four years old all the way up to 70. You're watching. Let's keep in shape. Keep sharp. And if you're new, when everything goes back to normal, get your butt in here. I'll teach you some stuff. Love to work with you. Let's go fast for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cross over and continue. Let's go. We have one minute left. Let's turn the circle the other way now. We did left. Let's do right. Work. 45 seconds. Nice. Side to side. And in. Ooh. Side to side. Side to side. And in. Up on a couple double loops. You guys ready? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. No problem. Let's do it again. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice work. Last 10 seconds, go hard. Win the fight. Attack. To the buzzer. All right. Chuck those ropes away. Deep breath. Let's get on our back. And let's do triple hit sit-ups. You're gonna hit your ribs, you're gonna hit your thighs, and you're gonna hit your calves with the hammer fist. Ready? One, on this one, two, three, four, let's go, five, six, seven, stomach, thighs, calves, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, how many are we gonna do? 14, whatever it takes to win, let's go. 15, 16, 17, work with me, let's go. 18, 19, 20, Let's go five more. One, two, hit, three, four, and five. Nice work. Give me a minute break. Come back with a stretch. seconds. Alright. Let's reverse it today. Start on the ground for a few stretches and then we'll uh, work to our feet. Uh, put it on your butt. Legs extended. Hands behind you. 
Shake up and down. One, two, three. And what's your job now? Again, slow that heart rate down. Deep breath into your nose. Exhale. Good. Let's go uh, stretch down the middle. One, two. Grab your toes or your ankles. Three, four. Keep your legs straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take your foot over top. Roll your ankle. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Foot over top. Elbow over. I want to give a shuttle to my wife, uh, Karine. She's behind the scenes here, making sure that uh, the stream is going smoothly. No problem. Let's do that right now. Can't do it without her. Taught me everything that I know in the fight game. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Stretch here. Good. Grab your leg, stretch up. And back up, good. Other foot, roll it over. Like I said, two halfway through the workout, to the end of the workout, I want some pictures of you training. I have some really good ones already. You're new, especially if you haven't sent a picture in, send me a picture. If you've already got a picture in, send me another picture of you training, doing the uh, online workouts. Really appreciate that. Motivates me. Because sometimes it feels like I'm just talking to an empty room and a camera. But then you guys send me those pictures, I realize how many people are, are training out there. It's awesome. And go back. Stretch it back, good. And grab your foot, stretch it up. Now for the kids, I'm just trying to make your parents look silly so you get a chance to uh, get a couple laps here. No, it's actually a real stretch. Bring the feet in, shake them up and down, butterfly. Inhale. Good, push down. And shout out to all the parents training with the kids. I know a lot of the kids have already trained martial arts with me, or they train martial arts somewhere and you're training lines alongside them. You know, it's awesome. It's not easy. It's tough when you're new to it. But uh, big respect to you for jumping in. Hope you're having fun. Good, let's go one leg in, one leg out. Stretch down. On the side, to me, really, martial arts is nothing really, nothing comparative to martial arts in terms of enjoyment and challenge and conditioning and mental challenge. You know, I've done a lot of things when I was training for my fights and stuff, go to the gym a lot of different ways, this and that. It's good, but you know, martial arts is always, every day is a new lesson. Something where you only realize how hard you're working because of the fun you're having, the challenges that you're facing every day on the mats and jiu-jitsu, but kickboxing and boxing become better and more technical. Good. Let's go uh, the one leg behind, drop your chest down. Switch. And that's why I'm so excited. Even every day, to, even after so many years, to get out there and train and train with my students. And even seeing my dad, who is like in his 70s, teaching, you know, for so many years, countless years, over 50 years, and still as enthusiastic and as excited as he is. You know, it's definitely inspiring for me. But really, a testament to how fun martial arts is. Forever, you know, life, life, lifetime training. Let's go left side. Couple more, right side. And swim forward. One, two, you can go all the way down, go all the way down, chest down. My chest ain't going that far. Now, five, four, swim, three, two, and one. Good. Let's get on the knees. Massage the ankle side to side. Loosen up the neck up and down, left and right. Shoulders forward. Shoulders backwards. Good arm across. Give a little squeeze. Let's go a couple more and then we'll get started on today's technique. And remember, each class that we've done builds upon the one before it. So if you haven't done the other ones, you go back. They're on the uh, website, you go back and do them uh, as well. Catch up on all those techniques. Good, knees apart. Put your hips down, stretch the groin. Live toes on the mats. Stretch back. All right, hold that stretch for a second. I just have to fix the uh, screen here. 
can't see the workout. All right, so what's our basic punching motion? You tell me. Exactly, hands up, chin down, you're gonna punch straight out 90% of the way. I'll slow down for the new people out. Right before it hits, you turn. Turn it right away and bring it back. Then the other side. Let's flow, 30 seconds. Let's keep it going. Keep, uh, let's do that again. I keep losing my, my screen here for some reason. All right, technical difficulties, side to side. Good, let's go T-frame motion now, here. Turn in the body, 30 seconds. Left, right, left, right, side to side. Good, okay, so he's looking forward. Turning the body side to side, all the way sideways. Making sure that the t-shirt disappears from the forward view. Side to side. Let's keep losing the uh, screen on the wall there, showing know what's coming up next. All right, once you got that, now we're gonna add a new element here. Hands up, we're gonna do the same thing, T-frame motion, but we're gonna add a hook. So for a hook, your punch goes up. That was our straight punch we've done. The hook is the elbow's gonna come up high, thumb goes up, and you're gonna punch 90 degrees. And we're gonna turn side to side with the T-frame. So everybody go from here, T-frame, but then throw a hook and clear the elbow, lift it up. Okay, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go 30 seconds, now just flow. When you're here, you're totally sideways. Up, back, elbows high as the punch. And one more thing I didn't explain well enough, but that thumb goes up. Six, seven, let's go 10 more. 10, nine, eight, bring your other hand back to your face. Five, four, three, Two and one. Use your feet to turn. A straight punch. So let's go 30 seconds. Non stop. Good. Elbows in pump at speed. What's next? You tell me. T frame motion, right? Soon. Let's keep it going. Good work. T frame. 30 seconds. No punches though. Twist. Side to side. Watch the cords, so you bump the cords, I'll lose it all. At all, that's it. Good, side to side. Keep working. You're gonna have to bring a third person in next time. Camera, technical difficulty on the projector, and coach as well. And let's add the hook. Check, are you completely sideways? Good. Lift the elbow. Other hand retracts back to your face. Let's go. 30 seconds. 10 more. 9, 8, 7. Let's go slow. 6, sideways. 5, elbow high. Thumb up. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, knees high. 20 seconds. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, new skill, not new skill, but blending two skills we've already learned. Fighting stance, leg in front, leg in the back. Hands up, look between your elbows. We've done forward movements, we've done backwards, we've done right and left, we're gonna put together in a box drill. Forward, twice, stop. Right, twice, what leg moves first? The one that's closest. Right, twice, gotta go back, this one first, and we go left, twice. We'll make that box. Let's go one minute. Forward, forward, right, right, back, back, left, left. Forward, forward, right, right. Check your are your elbows in. Is your butt back? Is your chin down? All the details we've been talking about. Backwards, backwards, left, left, forward. Let's go one more time. Forward, right. Remember, we don't want the heel first. Follow the foot first. Back, back. Left and left. Other way now. Right, right, forward, forward. Make sure your feet are not in a straight line like a skateboard or a snowboard. Here, it's in a position you can stand for a long time. Left, left, back, back, right, right. Forward, forward, left, left, back, back, right, right. Difficult ones are kind of forwards, a little difficult. Left is easy. Back is easy, and right's a bit more difficult. If you're left here, of course, you can switch everything. One more time. Forward twice, left twice. Ultimately, I don't even look at my feet. I 
can feel how far they're stepping, it's always equal. And jumping jacks, let's go 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's go through our basic punches. Okay, hands up, body stance, let's do the jab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's do the cross. Ready? One, foot turns. Two, three. I'm not going to explain it as much. Four, you go back to those, you know, work those one, two, and three, four to get those details. Five, six, tuck that chin down. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Combo. Ready? One, one, two. Two, one, two. Back to your frame. Three, one, two. Be loose. Four, one, two. Five, there's your chin down. Get your chin down. Six, seven, one, two. Eight, one, two. Nine, one, two, ten, one, two. Back to the jab. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Is your butt back a bit? Six, seven, eight. Go lean. Nine, ten. Right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Eight, nine, ten. Combo. One, two, three, four. Right back to your cheekbone. Touch your cheek with your back hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Good. Shake it off. A couple seconds. And let's punch it out non stop in 30 seconds. Go. As fast as you can. Work. Turn your shoulders. Let the hands fly. Elbows in, chin down. Let's work. 10, 9, 8, faster, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 30 second break, get a shot of water. I want you to grab a pillow or something small to mark on the floor. Get something to be a marker on the floor, pillow, anything. Something on the floor that we can circle around. New skill, okay? So, we're going to be in a fighting stance facing the target. A little bit of space between. We're going to learn how to move, how to move in a circle. So I'm going to take it a little slower this time to really get the details. And then in future work, we'll be able to speed this up if you'll know it. So let's get our fighting stance. And we're going to move to the left. Okay, 10 steps. So you move your left foot first because that's the closest. We move this bigger than the back foot. Normally, we move them the same size. But when you go circular, you want your first one to be big and second one to be small. So you're bladed. You're not straight. You're bladed a bit towards the target. Okay, keep that. That's the hardest thing. So ready? Let's go. One, left, right. Big, small. Two, left, right. Check your angle. You feel like you're bladed to the target. Three, don't get too close. Four, how's your hands up? Butt back, chin down. Five, good. Six, seven, beautiful. Eight, let's go all the way around. Nine, ten, circle. Eleven, twelve. My hands and shoulders are loose. Watch this. It's very common. like this. Keep the shoulders down. One, move around. Two, three, four, relax everything. Five, and six, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go to the right, full 360. This one's more difficult for the right-handers, okay? Easier if you're left-handed. If you're left you can switch my whole lessons like this, but it can be a little confusing. You can just learn right if you want, or you can switch if you like. Okay, hands up, let's go right foot first. Big, small, let's go, one, and again, not the heel. Two, follow the foot. Three, every time you land, you're bladed to the target, your chin is down, your hands are up, your elbows are in, your shoulders are relaxed, not up. Ready? Five, six, seven. If you feel my arms now, then you feel like sleepy, relaxed. Seven, move. Eight, go all the way around. Nine, back, bigger than the first second set. Big, smaller. Eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, good job. If you get a little squared up, you know, fix it. 14, 15, 16. In the fight game, though, you get a little bit squared up one time, boom, the fight could be over. You get winded by a kick, you could get knocked out by a punch, everything has to be perfect. But this is the development stage right now. This is where we make our, our mistakes in these lessons. Okay, so let's go punch out, now stop. 15 seconds, speed, fast. Elbows in, keep your, keep your height the same. Keep going, keep going. Keep your height the same. Don't go up or down, and just turn your shoulders. Elbows coming back in. Now, all right, we're going around again. Let's go left, two, a little faster, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
four, always bleeding. Five, six, seven, eight. Check yourself. How do you feel? Easy? Easy stance. Butt back, chin down, elbows in. Go. One, two. Move in a circle. Three, four. If you have a group of you training, you can all be in a circle moving simultaneously. One, two. Of course, in the same direction. Three, four, five. Six, check your hands up. Seven, imagine you're fighting an opponent. Eight, right now you can look at that, but ultimately you want to look up here. Let's go to the right. Ready? One, two, three, check it. Are you on the skateboard? Three, four, five, six. You see how my upper body does nothing? If you just saw this and this, this and up, you would see nothing. Sometimes when we move, it's very common because we do a lot of stuff. Okay? Just move for now, just with the feet. Minimize the amount of energy you're using. You do this all day, right? Later on, we can add head movement, add some face, but right now, let's just go all the way around. And punch it out. Ready? Go. Non stop. Speed. Faster. Work. Pop. Let's go. Quicker. And let's go all the way around a little faster now. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little more fluid. One, two, three. Three, four, five, arms still stay still, ready to punch. If they walk in, bam, I can shoot. This guy walks in with his uh, little jabby, I can catch him here. Go. Go right, keep your hands up. Nice and smooth. A little quicker now. Keep that body bladed. That's the tough part. You can feel this part of the side is more challenging. Stay loose, don't tighten up. Hand punch it out last time. Go. Speed. Hands up. Chin down. Elbows in. Three things to think about. Let's go. Faster. Turn, and relax. Good job. Okay, next stroke. How's everybody doing? Got that new skill? So what's our new skill called? Circular movement, okay? We have forward, we have back, we have left, we have right, we have circular. All this happens without thought when you guys practice. It doesn't take too long to get it down. Just gotta practice every day, a little bit. Get that movement, okay? Move around the grocery store. Okay, let's come on to that. All right, so let's go here. We're gonna move to the left or right. When I say switch, you're gonna switch directions, but you're gonna throw a jab across before you switch. So I might go left here. I say, I go one. Actually, I'll say switch. Switch, you throw one, two, and then you go the other way. And if I say switch, one, two, go the other way. Okay, so every time I say switch into a double punch, you go the other way. If you have a group of you, be careful you don't collide into each other, right? It's going to get kind of tricky. Here we go. Start moving to the left. I'm not counting anymore, you're just moving. Switch! Now go the other way. Perfect. If I'm not saying switch, you keep going like that. Keep going circular. Wait for the moment. Switch! One, two, switch the other way. There's an advanced detail too. I can add it now. Hold on one second. Keep going. Switch! This way is easy. Before you go this way, I'm going to show you an advanced detail. Well, not advanced, still fundamental, but something we haven't done yet. One, two. As you pull back, do a little angle, a little spin, tiny. And then you should feel better going this way. Okay, that's the left one. We go right to left. Let's move. Fast. Switch. This way is pretty easy. Very natural. Switch. One, two, slight turn, then start moving. Gotta keep you in better position. Switch! Switch! Back to the other way. Switch! Switch! Nice work. Switch! Every time we would keep our opponent guessing. Never be where they thought we were gonna be, otherwise we're gonna get cracked. Switch! Angle change and move. Switch! 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 Move little tricky. Move it to the right. And punch it out for 10 seconds. Go, speed, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. Shake it off, got 20 seconds. We're going to go into a combination, punching. Circular movement. We're going to do a new boxing 
combination. We keep that there. We're going to use that for this drill as well. So we're going to do jack, cross, hook. One of some details, we talked about the hook. We talked about elbow up, high as the punch. We talked about what degrees. Kids, math here, 90 degrees or slightly bigger, not tighter. Thumb up, this way is fine too, personal preference. I like to push this way. I like to fight that way as well. Okay, so let's do it. Jack, cross, hook. So if I just do the hook, it's very vulnerable for a straight punch. You never leave with the hook. So we always go, we don't always go this way, but this is one way we can set it up. Jab, cross, do it with me. And then as you, you pull this back, you do the T-frame motion. Remember this motion we did so many times? Right? You do that while you hook. You see? So you don't have to use any arm strength. Your thumb goes up, you just go just past your face. Don't go like this. And then we come back. So we go one, we go slow first. A new skill. One, two. Three, legs. Check it. Is your, is your body sideways? Is your heel up? Is your back foot flat? Two. One, two, three. Is your right hand up? Very common on the hook. We go like this. Four. Back. Jab, cross, hook. Let's check every punch. Jab, check the chin down, other hand up. Cross, foot turn. You need to turn this foot because this winds up this foot. You see how they change? What drill is that? Exactly. Same drill we did a thousand times. That didn't make sense before. Let's go. One. Jab. Cross. Hook. Elbow high. Thumb up. Let's let it flow ten times. One. And again, it's loose. Two. Three. All from the same height. Four. Circular with the punch. Five. Right back to your cheeks. Six. Good job. Seven. Then you get an extra new, keep going. Eight. Your, your thumb will go the wrong way, your elbow will go high. It's just kind of takes practice. Nine. One, two, three. Ten. Good. Okay, we're going to add the cross to that now. So, one more punch. So, one, two, hook. I'm already here. Might as well do one more straight. Okay? Five times. One, one, two, three, four. Two. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Five. Six. Seven. Good job. Eight. You gotta relax on these bigger combos, you're gonna get really tired. Nine. Ten. I lied. I said five, we can do that. We're gonna do ten times. Let's go circle now. We're gonna circle to the left. When I say switch, you're gonna do that combo, then you're gonna change directions. Got it? So instead of just your cross before, we do the four. Okay? Let's go to the left. Elbows in. Nice and loose. Switch. One, two, three, four. Go the other way. Switch. Now go the other way. Get that little angle change at the end. Switch. A little faster. Get out of there. Danger. Switch. Hopefully get that little spin up. Switch. Go the other way. Switch, slow it down, one, two, three, four, small spin, small spin, and go left. Should feel better. More difficult at first, but better for your balance. Switch, now go right. Switch, go left. Switch, and relax. Good, take 20 seconds. Catch your breath, shot of water. We're gonna do it again. Okay, back to the top. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, sorry. Here we go. One, ten times. Two, don't try to kill. Three, be rotational and relax. Four, lift the elbow high. Five, Make sure the hands are coming back. Six, face, face, face. Seven, eight, make sure your foot turning. Nine, ten, and out across. One, two, jab, cross, hook, cross. Three, four, one more. Five, and circle. Let's go to the right. Get around that target. And switch. Smooth. 
And switch. Keep your guard up, high guard. Switch. Little angle change. Move. Circle. Sometimes my circle is very small. Sometimes it's fast if they're aggressive. I need to move away. Sometimes it's defensive oriented, sometimes it's offense. Ready? Move left. Switch. Switch. Elbows in. Always be ready. Switch. Move to the right. Switch. And relax. 10 seconds. We'll do it all one more time. You tell me what's first. Jab, cross hook. 10 times. Ready? Let's go. One. We'll do it this way. Two. You can change direction as well. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Advanced guys, you need to add a little bit of movement in between. Six. Seven. Loop that hook around. Eight. Got to relax. Nine. Ten. And five times jab, cross, hook, cross. You got one, two, move your head, three, four, five, and start circling. So you can see the elements of moving the feet make everything a little more challenging. Let's go. Switch, angle change, move to the left. Switch, move to the right. Switch, move to the left. Switch, move to the right. Always be ready for my command here. Switch. Switch. And time. Excellent job, high five, we're still going. Let's keep it going. some kicks now. Alright. Let's go hands up. You can put the target away. I don't think we need that yet. I'm going to bring it back. We'll see. Alright. Let's do the right body kick. Five times. Okay. Hands up. No punches to set it up, we would, but right now let's just get the kick. So to review, step out with your left foot, open your toes, turn your chest, swing your leg through the target, and you pretty much get like a 180 turn. And I'm facing the other way. Ready? One. Good. As you step and turn the chest, drop your hand, front hand, kicking hand, down by side your hip. Ready? Two. Three. Relax the hook, kick him right in the face if you want. Four. Good, one more. Loose. Five. Both legs should be straight. Now we'll do the other leg. So we step. One way we can do it is we step this way. So we make our left leg the back leg. Then we turn the chest this way and we drop our left hand. Ready? One. Two. Turn that chest. Three. Four. One more. Five. Walk in. Let that walk be your momentum. Ten jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg again. Hands up. One. Turn that chest. Two. Good. Three. Time to kick with the legs. Two more. Four. And five. Left leg, lead leg. One, two, three, four, one more. Five. High knees, 10 seconds. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, ten seconds, we'll do it one more time.
Okay, this time we're gonna add actually a little bit more to it. So let's do a punch that set up the kicks. So we'll do left punch, right kick. There we go. So left jab, and then do the same right kick. One. Two, touch, step, turn the shoulders, kick. Three. Four. And five. Okay, jab cross, walking through the left kick. One, two, make your step, open your toes, turn your chest, drop your hand, swing your leg, both legs straight. One, this flow. Two, three, four, like a baseball bat, swing it through. Five. And punch it out non-stop. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. We'll do one more set with the punches. Shadow boxing rounds, a little ground and pound, and then finish up with a one last exercise. Good job. 30 second break. Shadow boxing, reviewing all the stuff that we've been working on, 
What's our new detail today? Somebody, the other note. Hook, right? Hook. 90 degrees, thumb up. Put in the combination, jab, cross, hook. Cross, hook. You can create your own combos and figure things out. You know, study online, watch some pro fighters go, and see different ways to set up the hook. But it cannot, and some ways to break, there are sometimes to break the rules, but in general, you don't want to leave with the hook by itself. Very dangerous. All right. And what about our movement? What's new in our movement? Circular. Here we go. Ready? Let's so start off with a circular movement. Now that you guys understand that a little bit, let's move. Get that jab going from circular movement. Touch. Touch. Every time I count, do the jab. Three, one jab. Four, lightning. Five, two. Six, move your head a little bit. Seven, touch. Eight, nine, ten. First jab. This is what do we do. Double jab. One, touch. Two, step, step, natural steps. Three, those can be forward, keep going. Four, those can be left, especially when I'm just boxing. Five, left, left. Six, seven, eight. Good, let's follow up with the right low kick. One, double jab, step, chop the legs. Two, one, two, chop. Three, four, Good. Punch it out 10 seconds. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Circle right. Right circular motion. All right, new combination. Jab, cross, hook. 1. I like to circle left tap. 2. Move your head. 3. 4. 5. Six. Follow with the right body kick. One, but when I do the hook, don't turn your foot. If I'm going to kick, I punch without turning my foot so I can kick. One, two, hook, kick. Two. That's a little tricky. Break it a little, change the rules a little bit. Jab. Double jab. Jab the body. So you'll learn that yet. Drop your butt, elevate the drops. Punch, never punch down. Drop the elevator. Ready? One, jab. Jab the head. Jab. Jab the body. Boom. Jab the head. Pop. One through the head. Good. Knee. Knee. One, two. Jab. Step knee. From last lesson. Step knee. Jab. One, two. Jab, cross, up, cross. One, two, three. Always hands up. Move your head. Four, five. Knee. Step knee. Good job. Jab. Double jab. One, two. Jab. One, two, left kick. Nice job. One, two, left kick. And punch it up to the end. Don't stop. And one minute break. Nice work. Shot of water, walk it off. Almost done, guys. Home stretch. Good time to get a pick. Set a pick again of you guys training. Appreciate all the feedback too, guys. If you have any ideas, anything you want to work on, feel free to message me. I have kind of a set game plan for most of the classes building forward. These are just like I'd be teaching you if you were my you know, one on one with me. If I was in your own home teaching you, just like it is right now. All right, let's get ready. What are we picking now, guys? Everybody fresh, energized, and excited to fight. It's a new round, no matter what happened that round. Here we go. Hands up. All right, let's start off with the front kicks. Let's keep them away. He's trying to come in on us. Let's go. Kick him in the stomach. Move circular. Kick him in the stomach. Keep his distance. It's like a jab with your legs. Kick. Kick. Even if it misses, if he shows that, okay, you're not going to be able to walk in. Jab. That's why sometimes I just jab in the air. But I'll only do it with speed. Never throw a jab. Just because it's in the air, don't throw it like lazy. I always throw 100% speed. 
So in this mind, it's like, wow, I don't want to, don't want to take that one. Jab. Good. Circle right. Let's go. Let's do a new combo. We didn't do it yet. Cross, hook, cross. Very important one. Circle right. This comes after you circle right. Stop. Cross, hook, cross. We already know the elements. Circle right. Cross, hook, cross. Unleash it. Pick up your speed. Cross, hook, cross. Move. Ready on my count. One. Move. Two. Even though I'm backing up a bit, my butt is back. My butt is all over here. Three. Down. Okay, he's coming in aggressive. Let's kick him in the face. Kick him in the stomach. Keep him away. Jab. Follow with the body kick. Jab cross, left body kick. Good. Let's get a couple knees going. Knee, knee, all the way around the gym. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sprawl. Hands on the mat. Sprawl. Lay your feet flat. Try to take down, get back up. So if I say sprawl from now on, you guys know what to do. Jab. It's almost like a perfect. One, two. Jab, cross, hook. Double jab. Jab, cross, hook. Double jab. Try that again. Jab, cross, hook. Angle up. Double jab. Jab, cross, hook. Double jab. Sprawl. Let's go. Work. One, two. Jab. Kick. Push kick. Push kick. Push kick. Turn. Double jab going forward. Double jab cross. Again. Again. Double jab cross going backwards. Remember last lesson? Jab, jab, cross. Back up, back up, cross. Touch, touch, turn. Watch this one. He comes at us. Step your left leg back. And knee. Step your left leg back. Up, up. Knee. Step your left leg. Protect. Knee. Good job. 20 seconds. Jab. One, two, and kick to the end. Push kicks to the buzzer. Let's go. Everything you got. Work. Speed. Hands up. Don't stop. Faster. As soon as one's down, put the other one up. And punch, punch, sprawl. Five times. One, sprawl. Two, three, four. Five, come up. And rest. One minute break. Get your ground and power ready. Let's go. Let's review all what we've done so far. Sky's paper punches. Ready? Up. One, two, three. Be careful if you have a pillow. Give me hard floating. Four, five, round, six, seven, eight. Lift the elbow high. Nine, ten. Drop your butt. Elbows, palm on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beat them up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right side. Left side. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. New punch. Hammer fist. Like Donkey Kong. Bottom of your hand. One, two, three, four. Dead weight. Five, six. Sit the butt down. Seven, drop. Eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven. Move. Up six. Your arm is loose, not tight. Five, four, three, two. Knee on stomach. Ready? Four punches. One. Switch sides. Two. Get the last pass. Three. We got comfortable with this. Leg up. Four. Jump. Five. Six. And jump. Ten times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Nine, ten. In the guard now. We're back behind the pillow. Let's go. Head down. Body, body, head. Body, body, head. Other hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back to the chest. One, two, three. Body, body, head. New skill. Body, body, head. Let's go. Body, body, head. Body, body, head. One hand on the chest. We're in the guard. Punch. Hammer. Other hand. Punch. Hammer. Punch. Hammer. Body, body, head. Our heads down. Boom. Hit him. Body, head. Body, body, head. Body, body, head. Keep it going. One minute left. Freestyle now. You do everything. Everything you know. Mount. Punching. Knee up, stomach. Jump beside to side. Four punches. In the guard. Good work. Let's get full mount. Hammer fist. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back to knee up, stomach. Four shots. One, two, three, four. And everything goes for you now. You're on your own. 30 seconds. Finish it. Let's go. Be aggressive. Change your position. Knee on stomach. In the guard. Full mount. Mix it up. You have 20 seconds. Work. And get that full mount to finish the match. Ready? Full mount. And punch it up to the end. Everything you got to the bottom. Let's go. Guys, bring those elbows. And that'll be it for today. Good work. in a while. Okay, here we go. One, don't let your knees get forward. Okay, sit back in an invisible chair. Two, I'm gonna kill the timer. Hold on. You guys are gonna count with me though. Everybody's gonna yell 10 at home, 20 at home, 30 and so on. Ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, everybody, 10, good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody's gonna yell 20. Nine, 20, good work. One, let's hear it. Two on the 20s, three on the 10s, I mean. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody, 30. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why did I pick a hundred? Say nine, fifty. One, two, three, four. Jump in and out if you have to. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, sixty. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Good job, guys. That's good for today. Woo! Okay, if you want to stick around the channel a little bit, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock.
Whew. 